In this video, we're talking about Lightroom presets, how to install them, how to use them, and my quick thoughts and opinions on a set of presets that were given to me by fixthephoto.com. So let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. On my channel, I talk about photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. All right, so um, a couple weeks ago, somebody had reached out to me from fixthephoto.com and asked if I would be interested in reviewing some of their presets. So they offered to send me some presets to try out and uh, here we're gonna install them and give them a shot. So the first thing we need to do is install the presets. Now you can get free presets, you can buy paid presets. Um, they're all over the place online. You can find them all over. And uh, what presets are good for is to give you a good starting point for your images. Um, I wouldn't expect a preset to do the full editing job for you where you click it once and you're done. Generally, I find that you need to, you know, you can use the preset, but then you need to kind of, you know, make it your own and you may want to tweak a few more things. So the first thing we need to do is download the presets. Uh, wherever you might find them, download them. And uh, I saved them in a folder on my desktop, but you can save them wherever you'd like. So save them to your computer. The next thing we need to do is install the, the presets. So one thing to make note of is that Lightroom recently changed the file format for the presets. So presets used to be saved in a file format uh, that had a .lr template at the end of it. Well, now the Lightroom presets have a .xmp file type. So the only thing this means is that it changed the location of where the uh, files are stored. So I'm gonna show you where we're gonna put these files, which are .lr template files, and uh, show you how to get them in, into your preset section in the development module. So let's jump over to Lightroom and I'll show you how to do that. So here we are in Lightroom, and in order to install our presets, what we need to do is come up to Lightroom up in the top left corner here, click that, come down to Preferences, and it brings up our Preferences window. Now you see the tabs across the top, we wanna select Presets, come down under Location, and here you see we have two buttons, one that says Show Lightroom Presets, and the other one says Show All Other Lightroom Presets. Now, because the presets that I have are .lr template files, I'm gonna to wanna to click on this Show All Other Lightroom Presets. If the presets that you have are .xmp files, you can click here, and this will bring you to the new location where the, um, where the uh, presets are saved. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on show all other Lightroom presets right here. Now that brings up find my finder window. Uh, I'm on a Mac here, so this is obviously gonna be geared towards people with a Mac, but it's very similar for people with a PC. So now it brings me to my Lightroom folder. The next thing I wanna do is come over to develop presets. And this is where I'm gonna to wanna to put the new presets. So wherever you have them, uh, you just go copy them and you can paste them right in here. So I'm gonna go find them, I'm gonna copy them, come back and paste them into here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and copied my presets. I'm gonna come over to this folder. Actually, I wanna make sure I'm right here, right under the develop presets and I'm gonna paste the folder. Now mine's called landscape presets underscore fix the photo underscore paid. Uh, this is because they sent me a free set of their paid uh, presets, which we're going to install here and give a try. So I'm going to go back to Lightroom. And now that I'm in Lightroom, I jump over to the develop module here by pressing D. And if I open up my presets here, you notice it doesn't appear there. And the way that you make it appear there or your new preset folder appear is you actually have to close right Lightroom and then reopen the program and it'll load up any new presets. So I'm going to jump out of Lightroom here and reload it. All right, so here I am back in Lightroom and you can see it just popped up a message really quickly that said it converted all of the .lr template presets into XMP files. And Lightroom will do that automatically when you um, reopen Lightroom. And one of the cool things is now that we did that, if we come back up here to preferences and presets, before we went over here, well, now that it converted all those presets to the new file format, we can actually click here where all the new presets go. And you'll see over here under settings, here's our, here's our uh, landscape photos over, or landscape presets over here. So that's all set up and good. So now that we have our presets in here, all you have to do is simply 
select your photos and just try the different presets on them. So you can just hover over them. And what's nice is as you hover over them, you kind of get a little, uh, little view in your window, a preview really of what the preset will do to your image. So here are these landscape uh, presets that were provided by Fix the Photo. They're uh, all different kinds of presets. A lot of times what you'll find is they're organized in some sort of fashion. So these, they're just numbered one through uh, 30 in this case. There was 30 presets. And then, you know, they have some kind of descriptor word. Um, in this case, these are all landscape uh, presets. And then there's a further description of what the preset actually does. And you'll find that with most presets that there's something that kind of gives you an idea of what the preset is trying to accomplish or what kind of look it's trying to give you, whether it's faded or bright colors or open the shadows or whatever. So you can just hover over the different, uh, the different presets here and see what you like. And I've kind of gone through some of these before and some of the ones that I've kind of been liking here from uh, Fix the Photo, this greenery one is kind of cool. Uh, the film look, that's kind of kind of cool, I like that. Um, so I'm just going to pick one here. I'm going to do, uh, let's do the film look. So now I selected that and, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. It's not too bad, but there's still some things that I would want to do. Um, you know, in this case, I might want to bump up the contrast a little bit more. Um, might actually want to add a little bit of the clarity back in. Uh, let's see, did they throw a vignette on here? There's no vignette. So maybe I'll just bring that down a little bit. Um, one of the things that a lot of presets may not do is turn on your lens corrections. So a lot of times I'll, I'll turn on the lens corrections and then you can see it kind of opened up the edges for us. So I'm actually going to go and uh, back into effects and bring that vignette back in a little bit. I'd also want to kind of crop the image a little. So I'm going to just give a little straighten it out here, kind of get the road level there a little bit better. Done there. So that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Uh, another another picture here. Let's just uh, let's try a uh, apple. It's from recent apple picking trip. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say, what about colors pop, brighten, autumn? I think autumn looks pretty good actually. So I kind of like that. You know, looks good. I might want to actually drop the highlights down a little bit more. Maybe want to select the right white balance for daylight. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. It's okay. You know, maybe some of the other things I want to do is look at some of the colors. Maybe boost the greens a little bit more. Make the greens a little darker, but make the reds pop a little more. Give it a little richer red color there. So you can see I'm just making some small adjustments. I may want to fix my profile corrections for the lens. And then again, maybe bring bring down a little bit. Bring in some uh, vignetting there. That looks kind of good. I kind of like that. Not too bad. Let's try another image here. Looking down the road, uh, let's see, we got film. There's another one down towards the bottom here I kind of like. The cinematic look, see if I change the white balance a little bit, daylight warms it up. I almost like it a little bit cooler as shot. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Drop the highlights down a little bit more. Well, I think I'll leave the exposure. Clarity's good, maybe just a slight bit of dehaze. Let's see, it doesn't have any sharpening. And that's the other thing I might want to check on some of the other images is, is there any sharpening applied? Um, so I'll just put a little in there. Let's just say 73, and then I'm going to come up and uh, use my masking tool here. Hold Option down while I move the masking slider, which shows me what will be sharpened, all the white areas there. There we go. Kind of looks cool. So I think I may have already cropped this one. Yeah, I did. I cropped this one in and straightened it out, which is something that the preset this particular preset would not do. Uh, there's some that may, you know, adjust for your, uh, your, you know, your transformation here, do the auto upright or something like that. Um, but yeah, so most of the time I'm going to select a preset and then I'm going to tweak it a little bit more. So it kind of fits exactly what I want. Um, but a preset is a great place to start with modifying your image. Try another one here. I'm going to come over to, uh, this one here, my daughter running down the field. Let's try deep colors. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Not so bad. You know, I kind of like that. And it was daylight out. Let's see. Eh, not too bad. You know, and again, if I wanted to crop it or, or you know, move it around a little bit, I could could do that. Maybe I want her more towards the top of the frame there. And then I might want to come in too and just kind of pull this in. I might want to drop back that a little bit, make it a little darker in the foreground here. Pull that back. And then maybe, maybe I even want to blur it a little bit more. Kind of cool. So, you know, you can see the the before here, 
and the after. Maybe that's even a little little yellowish, you know, a little orangish. So I can cool down, auto white balance, kind of helps out a little bit there. All right, let's try another one here. This is a uh, cornfield, cool old tree here with another uh, maple tree kind of hanging overhead here. And uh, I thought this was kind of a cool picture. You know, some of them, some of the presets, you know, they uh, sometimes they're a little over the top, but you can modify it further, is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, so let's just say I did, uh, I don't know, what do we like here? There's a lot of cool ones. Sometimes it's hard to pick, you know, which which ones you like the best. So let's do, uh, I don't know, it's this soft cold green. And then uh, maybe I want to add, add in a little more contrast. Bring down the highlights just a little bit. Maybe make it just a little bit brighter. Half stop. See if I increase the clarity. Nah, not feeling that too much. And you can see a lot of the presets, they'll do stuff with the curves, um, you know, and make all different kinds of adjustments. All right, we'll try one more photo here. Uh, let's see, uh, let's go with this vintage down here. This is just a little little scooter leaning up on a fence and an old farm here. Kind of cool. And again, you know, I'm probably going to want to come in and uh, I could do an auto upright or something. Um, most times I want to enable my lens corrections, get rid of the chromatic aberrations if there are any, but I always select that. Um, check my sharpening. Yeah, I may need to sharpen it up a little bit. You know, kind of cool. I mean, the, the presets give you a good starting point. And sometimes you don't know exactly what you want to do. So it's nice that I can just hover over the presets and select something different. So if I maybe changed my mind and said, hey, I want to go with uh, a different a different look altogether, you know, maybe maybe I pick this evening one, you know, to make it make it uh, more blue. Um, and then, you know, come in and bring in a little bit more of a, a vignette here. So in addition to downloading presets, you can also create your own. If you haven't done it before, it's super easy. You basically just select, you know, make your edit. Um, even if you took a preset uh, that you already had that you might have downloaded from somewhere, you can select that and then come into, you know, your, your different adjustments here and make the adjustments however you want. Uh, I don't know, say I want it real bright, for example. For whatever reason, um, obviously I wouldn't want to do this, but just as an example, to save the preset, I would then come up to, once I have all my adjustments made and, and how I want to keep it, I would then come up to the presets bar up here, and you see the little plus, and you can create preset. You can title it whatever you want, and you can also select which adjustments are applied as part of that preset. So you can select everything. You can select only a few things. Maybe you just want to be able to sync white balance or lens corrections or maybe just the basic panel. You want to sync your, your exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. Maybe that's all you want to do. So you would just then uh, make your selections here, click create. And then if you go to apply that preset, you, it's simply, you know, just like these guys are over here. It's one click and done. And then you have your settings there. So you can see presets make it uh, pretty, they're pretty easy to install. They make it easy to give you a good starting point with your images. And then you can just make minor adjustments from there to, uh, to finish out your image and really make it your own and give it the look that you want it to have. All right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. I hope it helped show you how to easily install presets and how easy it is even if you have presets that are in the old file format and you want to make them into the new file format lightroom actually does it for you you just got to know where to put the files so i hope this show you how to do that and showed you how easy it is to use presets and how they give you a good starting point for your images and you know sometimes you don't even know exactly what you want your image to look like so by clicking through some different presets and just you know getting an idea of what an image could look like with different presets helps you decide where you want to take the image. I had received some free presets from fixthephoto.com. If you're interested in any of the presets that you saw uh, that I had used here, which were provided by Fix the Photo, check out the description below. I'm going to have a link to where you can find them. They also have some free presets that you can download too, so you can go over there and check those out. So I uh, just want to say thanks to Fix the Photo for providing me with some presets. And uh, I hope this helped you out and just learn a little bit more in Lightroom on how to use presets. So thanks for stopping by. Again, subscribe to my channel if you haven't been subscribed already. On my channel, I talk about photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. You can subscribe over there. Click over here to get some more videos.